السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Our twenty first question. So we talked about that that in a word there are two types of letters. One is حرف uh, نسلي which is the original root letter and the other is حرف زيادة أو زائدة which is the uh, extra letter yeah? زائدة. So we talked about حرف نسلي in the last question that حرف نسلي means all the derivatives you find that root letters and they are not omitted most of the time but can they be omitted is our next question hal yuhdafu al harf al asli yu ahyana is the original root letter uh, deleted yeah harf al asli original letters deleted omitted so he says al harf al asli la yuhdafu min al kalimati illa li illatin sarfiyatin tariatin so al harf al asli is not omitted from a word except for a reason illa reason Sarfiya, morphological reason. Tariya, how do you translate Tariya? Sudden uh, or temporary. Yeah, Tariya could be temporary. Tariya. Emergency, incidental reason. Yeah, Incidental reason, casual, cause, causal reason. It should be uh, something which is... Uh, which, which, uh, which should be... A, there should be a cause to it. A chance, right? It's not happen all the time, by chance or incidental. Ala hudu fil kalimati nahu, for example, on the letters of the word. So it should not happen except by a morphological rule. For example, ya jidu was nuha ya ilu, and where's the wow? Wow, the root letters were actually wow ya and uh, wow ya and jim, right? The root letters were wow, uh, jim and dal. Sorry. Jim, right? Jim and Jim and Dal, Wajada, hmm? Wajada, Wow, yeah, and Jim, correct. So why did we drop the wow? We dropped the wow because this is a rule for methal. Methal in all methal. Methal is the uh, verb which has the first letter as wow or ya. So in any other mudare, uh, you'll keep the wow, the fa kalima, but in methal you'll drop the wow, like waada ya idu. So he says the pattern is ya'ilu. Why? Ya'ilu. Because wow is the fa kalima, correct? Wow is the fa kalima. This is the ain kalima and this is the lam kalima. Correct? Now you drop the fa kalima, the first letter. So uh, you added a ya. You added a ya before. So it became ya'ilu. Ya'ilu. So that's the pattern for it. Wasluha wajada. Asluha wajada. Fasakatat al wow. Wow dropped in it. Right, wow was dropped. Liwukuiha bainal yai wal kasrati because it's occurrence between ya and kasra. Why did it happen? Why was it dropped? Because literally it was yaw jidu. Yaw jidu. Ya with a fatha and wow with a sukoon and jim with a kasra. Yaw jidu. Now these are two enemies. One is Kasra of a wow and the other is Ya. Correct? The Ya. So these two enemies, because it occurred between two Aduwatain, by Aduwatain, two enemies, that is why the wow ran away. Wow ran away because wow doesn't like Ya, anyways. Uh, yaw and uh, wow doesn't like Kasra also. Wow likes Dhamma. Right? Dhamma. Okay? And Fatha doesn't like Kasra. So it, it occurred between. A ya and a kasa, that way is that's why it was dropped. So, can original root letters drop? Yes, but only for a reason. Only for a reason, a morphological reason, like it happened here. Yeah, it should not, uh, and it should be incidental reason that there should be a cause to it. I thought, yeah, it should not happen, you know, half and you know, root letters because you won't know then what the root letters are. Because now you know the rule whenever you see yajidu. You won't go and search in the dictionary ya, jim, and dal. Because you know this rule that this is mithal, correct? You will search for wow, jim, and dal, right? If you don't know what it means. Or wada, ya, idu. You won't go and search for ya, jim, and dal. Because you know this ya is anyways the halful mudara, uh, the sign of mudara. So the root letters are jim and dal. Something else was dropped, which was wow, right? Which is wow. So that's how you identify the root letters if it is dropped, right? You should know the rule. Then it's easier for you to identify uh, the root letters. Next class, next question, we'll look at uh, what is intended by al-halfid za'it.
extra letters, right? Extra letters, even in a noun and in the verb, what does it mean? Okay. Zadakallahu khayn, barakallahu fikum, salam alaykum wa